I'm sorry, buddy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Friday. Um, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, we made an appointment for Kep. Um, just a general checkup. Not there wasn't anything particularly wrong. It was just it's been a while since he went to the vet, and we made an appointment. But that's not today. His appointment is for next week. However, in the past few days, he's been he's been really pukey. I mean, like, cats puke occasionally for various reasons, but um, he's puked a lot. And that's, I mean, it could be nothing. Could be nothing. I mean, it's, it's we're getting into spring, and he's shedding his coat a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's been a lot of hairballs and stuff, so it could be nothing. But having had, you know, somewhat of a, a history with this, um, it's a little concerning. So even though his appointment is next week, we're taking him in. Uh, we're taking him in today, just so they can just give him a quick look over. He's not lethargic. He seems fine otherwise, but he's uh, he's been pukey. And uh, this morning he um, he ate his food a little bit, then he puked it up. So could be nothing, but um, it was something that I was like, you know what? I don't I don't really want to wait until next week. Let's take him. Just have vitals and stuff checked. Make sure he's okay. And then we'll go from there. All right. He's not happy in the kennel. He's never happy in that box. He just, he's never liked the box. How's he doing? Whiny. You whiny boy? You a whiny boy? I see your little face. Yeah. The way that they're uh, doing things is in the car. So we just got to wait in the car. You'll be okay. You just got to calm down. No, he likes that. I mean, he got a vitamin B shot. Yeah. And anti-nausea meds. Yeah, I guess you'll get... I guess you'll like anything once you get that. So we're back home now. Um, they're not exactly sure uh, what the, the problem is. Um, they said it could be that, you know, he's a groomer. I mean, he grooms himself a lot, so it could be that, you know, maybe he's groomed himself too much and with all of the pollen that's going on right now and I mean it is bad the pollen here is super super bad um, you know maybe that's causing his stomach to act up um, it could be that maybe he's eh, starting to gain like an allergy to the specific food um, regardless um, you know he, the, the big issue is that his his you know stomach is uh, inflamed so they gave him some meds for that um, which gives him an appetite to eat, and he's still uh, hungry. He's still hungry. <laughs> you okay? He hungry. He hungry boy. We'll see how you do. We'll give a little bit, and then we'll give you more. Okay. Um, we got some uh, some special food. It's the it's it's the science diet ID, which it's the um, stew version though. The stew version. Yeah, it's, I noticed the the consistency was different. different. Than what Sagan had? Um, Sagan was on ID for a time, basically throughout Sagan's life. I mean, he always had problems with his bowels, and occasionally, um, if his stomach got real messed up, uh, the vet would give him that food, and we would feed it to him for a few days, and it would it would kind of like reset his stomach. So it was it was really useful for that. Um, for a while he was on it for a long time. Yeah. Um, one of the interesting things though is like, if Kepler is starting to become allergic to this food, I mean, he's been on this food for a long, long time. We can switch foods for him. Uh, the reason that we've used this food for so long was, was for Sagan. Mm -hmm. Um, we had to continually try different foods to get Sagan's bowels to be normal because he just, he, the poor little thing had diarrhea all the time. We finally stumbled across limited ingredient blue, and that is what stopped his bowel issues. Um, we were keeping Kepler's food. We moved to Kepler's food along with Sagan's, and Kepler's always just had an iron stomach. Like, nothing ever bothered him. No matter what he ate, his stool was always normal. Um, so, you know, we just moved uh, Sagan's food along with Kepler's food because they shared the same dry food too because he eats both wet and dry and uh yeah if we need to change his food we can certainly do that i mean i i know that he is pretty open to things he's not a super super picky cat he doesn't like salmon he doesn't like salmon there, yeah i guess he doesn't like salmon but he's willing to try stuff and uh 
you know, like I said, throughout his life, anytime we've altered his food at all, his stool has stayed the same, which is really, really useful. But um, not sure exactly the specifics of what's causing him the tummy issues, but uh, he's in good shape right now because, you know, he got all the... Sub-Q fluids, medicine... Yeah, he, yeah, he needed... Yeah, he needed some fluids, but that's... I mean, that's because he puked today, so... He'll be feeling good for the rest of the day. At some point, he'll probably conk out because he'll be really tired. Yeah. And uh, we'll keep feeding him this uh, this special food for the next few days. They did some blood work. We won't know the results of that until Monday. But it sounds like something's going on with his stomach. And uh, it, might, it might be kind of like some experimentation to figure out exactly what the specific problem is. But hopefully, we'll get him back to full capacity soon. Right, bud? Huh? Just give me more food. <laughs> what? You still hungry? You still hungry? <laughs> okay, give it give it like half an hour and we'll give you a little bit more, okay? Hey little guy. What? You good boy? You good boy? Yeah. Oh, oh sweet boy. Oh sweet boy. I tried to I tried to capture him. He he just Yeah, he was using a scratch and post. I know it probably doesn't seem like much, but he's been very, very, very out of it today because of um you know the, the medication and everything. And then there's also the visit itself. Um since the last clip, much, much later, um we did the stream. Uh we had to decide if we were even gonna do the stream. Um we kind of just played it by ear, watched him. When we first got him home, um, he had the the adrenaline from the, what shot is it? The, the vitamin B. The vitamin B shot. And like, he was excited. And then that started to wear off and then he was just tired. So we watched him for a while. We tried to decide if, you know, how exactly we wanted, we wanted to approach the evening. But we, you know, quickly realized all we really wanted to do was just like, lay in our laps. For the first little bit, he was just restless. He would get, he would lay somewhere and then he would, he, he couldn't be there for like more than like three to five minutes and he'd get up and he'd move somewhere else and he'd get up and move somewhere else. And um, we actually took a short nap and he jumped up on the bed and he would be like on my side of the bed and then he would get up and he would move on the mouse side of the bed. Then he was on top of me and then he was on top of Mal and he was on the floor and then he was back up on us. He just couldn't sit still. But eventually he calmed down and um, I went upstairs to work and this was all before the stream. And uh, he wanted to go upstairs with me because he was at the, the bottom of the stairs and he was meowing at the stairs. And I was like, okay, let me make a cup of coffee, bud, and then I'll go up and work. So I went up and he, he went up with me and he jumped up on the couch and he just, he just slept. And I was like, okay, I think we could probably do the stream tonight because it seems like he's, he's calmed down. He's finally resting. And I was right. Um, when we did the stream this evening, he just slept in my lap the entire stream. Like, it was four hours, and that was it. And he was just out. I mean, he's so, so tired from the day. And, uh, you know, normally what happens during the streams is that, you know, he has a pretty hearty appetite. So he's usually asking us for food, and we're having to get him to, like, you know, stop. Oh, he's drinking, too. I think it's the first time you've, you've drank anything. I'm so glad that he's starting to feel better. So he was on my... um. He was on my lap the whole time, and then, like, at some point, I was like, I'm, you should probably eat something. So I, I carried him downstairs, and I put him on the ground, and he looked up at me, and he was like, Meow. and I was like, yeah, I'll give you some food. So I gave him some food, and then I was done. I went back upstairs, and I encouraged him to come up, and he did. He walked up the stairs, he got into my lap, and he went back to sleep till the end of the stream. So it was very sweet, um, and, uh, you know, he was just... He's just been tired and, and warm, and and only now am I starting to see him, like, get back to his normal self, which is good. Um, and we'll, we'll hope that by tomorrow you're, you're feeling a lot better, huh? Feeling a lot better. We hope so. He's also purring a little bit tonight. So, I mean, you know, this doesn't... We still don't know exactly what's up. Um, and, of course, you know, if he starts vomiting again, that's bad. But I suspect that he'll probably be all right. We won't know any blood test results until uh, Monday. 
and that'll be kind of like the big reveal. Um, but uh, th there were so many folks tonight that were just, they were sending good vibes for Kepi, and it was very, very sweet, and there was a lot of art that was, uh, that was made just to wish Kepi well. But he hung out, and he did good, and he's, he's certainly getting a little more life to him now that I guess some of the medicine is is wearing off, so. We're gonna keep an eye on them. I mean, you know, our lives are dedicated to to our pets, um, to our family. They're members of the family. So we'll do whatever we gotta do to make sure that they're fine, and I don't know exactly what's up with, with Kepi's stomach, but we'll find out. The, the blood results will really rule out a lot, so I'm looking forward to those on Monday. In the meantime, we'll take care of you, buddy. We always do. Huh? Don't we? Yeah, you're cute. You're starting to get an appetite again. He's a good boy. He's a good, good boy. All right, Mel. Um, yeah. I guess we should. Uh, I think that salsa. Yeah, I want to know if that salsa changed at all because we ate it yesterday. Did you add anything else? Just a few tomatoes that didn't fit on the pizza. You talked about possibly adding garlic? I thought about it last night, but garlic tends to get real strong quick when it sits like that. Uh, okay. Well, let's try a little little bit of it to see if it changed from sitting in the the fridge overnight. Maybe that changed it a little bit. So you already tried some. Mm-hmm. So my question is, do you feel like it, it changed in any way? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's something a little different at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could put my finger on it because I'm not a chefy type person. But it's good. What are you grabbing? Garlic. Wait, didn't you just say you weren't going to put garlic on it? I'm going to use powder. Oh, garlic powder. That could be interesting. Before I end the vlog, I'm going to mention something. Because this is something Mal and I were discussing earlier, and, um... It's a thing. It's a thing. Um... We haven't been to the vet in a year. Or a year and some change. And, um... As some of you may recall, last time that we, we went to the vet was, uh, the, the day Sagan passed away. That was the last time we went to the vet. Drove to the vet. They did what they could, and then we drove down to Charleston to go to the, the even more special, you know, vet. Um, now, I, this was a fact that I was aware of. I was aware of this. But, you know, kept having issues. Uh, we got in the car, and we started driving, kept to the vet. And, like, I got to tell you, I was not, I was not ready for how I felt. There is still trauma, and I, I'm 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 wondering if that is something that will fade in time, or if that's like just a lifelong thing now. I don't know, um, and it's not, and I, I don't want people to be worried about Kep in that way because like they they checked him, they fell him over, they were like you know there's no masses or anything, so it, it's not the same situation, but it's just the idea of. Something is wrong with my baby, and I have to drive my baby to the doctor. And like on being like going on the way there, it's just this weird tension that I, I really can only describe as trauma. And you could cut it with a knife. And Mao said she you know she had experienced basically the same thing. And it's a weird feeling. It's not a good it, feeling. It was hard. Like, yeah. And you know, obviously. We haven't figured this out yet with Cap, so we're, we're, we'll be working on it. And I, I, I truly, truly, truly don't think that it's anywhere near the same thing. It's just something we'll have to figure out what it is and then solve it. But it, it was just... I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for how that felt. And, and I, I think if it would have been his regular and he had been feeling fine, I think it would have been different. Yeah. But it wasn't. Yeah. The fact that we were going special because like we felt like something was wrong, I don't know. It's just... I don't know. Just something I wasn't expecting. Um, and I don't know, you know, how long I'll have to deal with that. How, how long I'll carry that. Because I always, I always try to be very cool and collected about 
everything. And, you know, I, I felt like I'd still do a pretty good job today, but, I don't know, driving there was, I just had this, not the same feel, not like the, the exact same feeling, but just a, an unsettling feeling of familiarity that I just really didn't want to experience. Today or ever. Yeah. I'm glad he's home. I'm glad that he's currently feeling all right, and uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll learn more on the, on Monday. Yeah. All right, for now, Salsa. Thank you all for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?